Good morning. I am not naked. I have a boob tube on. So I just spit everywhere. How are we all? Did you miss me? Uh, guys, very exciting. It is 7 a.m. and I'm in full glam, which can mean many things, but today it means I am going. I'm so excited, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna pretend to be like all cool about it. I'm going on my first ever brand trip with a brand girl. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So when I got this invite, guys. I, I was like, oh shit, did they like send it to the wrong person? Not even joking. I was like, London, what the fuck? Um, and then I was like, oh, maybe they want me to like get there myself. Maybe it's just like a courtesy thing. But no, so full transparency, they're flying me over to London. Kiehl's, that is a brand that you know. If you know me for a while, you know I fucking love Kiehl's. So that's why I was all extra excited. Um, it's not my tax. You know, with the taxis, when you have a fucking... Um, I feel like whenever I have a taxi for the airports, the one time the taxi comes 10 minutes early, I'm like, when I said 20 past, I mean 20 past. I don't mean fucking 10 past. Um, so Kiehl's, yeah, are flying me over to London. Um, I'm not getting paid for it or anything. And I'm not getting like, I'm not being paid to vlog or anything like that. But obviously I'm going to vlog some in London. Evan just so happened to be in London for work. Um, so I was like, why not make a little trip of it? No, that's my toxic trait. I love to make a little trip of it, no matter where I go. Um, so yeah, you're gonna come along with me. We're gonna spend 48 hours in London. Hopefully I'm gonna see my friend Yulia, maybe see my friend Ross. We're gonna go to the event together. We're gonna hang out and see how we get on. But right now I need to get my shit together and head out the door. I'm dressed like the Irish flag. Okay, we're on our way to the lounge. I got a little Starbucks. Let's go meet everyone on the trip. Social anxiety kicks in right now. I hate meeting new people, but I do know two people on the trip, so that makes it easier. Um, so I'm gonna go get the lounge and then say hello to everyone. The airport's very chill, which I appreciate. But a lot of annoying Americans, I will say, in T2. We're on the plane. We've got Molly beside me. Oh, she focus pitch. Pamela's studying. Hi. <laughs> She's doing maths. I'm helping her. Um, <laughs> I'm giving uh, Pamela grinds on the plane about maths. Um, we should be landing in about an hour. And then heading to the event. I'm gonna top up my makeup actually. Oh, you got your iPad with you. Fair play. duffel bag from pennies from primark or whatever because i might want to do i want to go to like uh some of the vintage shops tomorrow because i'm staying obviously in shortage so there's loads around there and i want to maybe buy some stuff and i just brought my like louis vuitton tote and it just has no room for anything extra so it was only like tenner anyway i'm um 
going to find the tube now. It's over there. I'm going to get the train to Liverpool Station and then go find Evan and see what the hell he's up to. Um, and then probably chill out for a bit. He'll just be finished work. Um, and we're going for dinner at around half eight, I think. I haven't decided where yet. I'm still full from lunch, to be honest. And I even only got a light lunch for that purpose, but sure look, we'll see. I really hope tomorrow I find some um, some good stuff to buy. I really want some, I went into Liberty London and I was tempted to buy a Byredo scent, but I don't think I have enough space in my bag. It was one that I smelled in Paris and it's so nice. It's Bald Afrique, in case anyone's wondering. Anyway, I'm at the train now. I'm gonna go navigate this bitch and get on my way. Uh, so, I uh, came back to Evans Hotel, C Hotel in Shoreditch, Evans here. It's tiny, we're gonna be like in a, like in a hostel um, for the night, but we're gonna go meet you here right. now. All right, how's it going? Can I take a picture from you? I'm all right, thank you. How you doing? What, what is your accent? Irish. From where? Welcome. Sorry, we got interrupted there by a lovely man called Mario who helped build the Lewis from Sandyford to Leprechaun Town. I think he means Leopardstown. Um, but we're on our way to Soho now and um, we're going to Dishoom. Hopefully we'll get a table. To be honest, it's been a nightmare. I tried to book about three or four places last night that people recommended me and every single one of them was booked out on a Tuesday. What the hell? Makes absolutely no sense. But um, I guess we'll see. I think Dishoom, they take walk-ins out of the but I think the queue can be like mad long, so. We'll an hour see. And 40 last night. An hour and 40 minutes in the shortage one last night. Mm -hmm. So the Soho one, I don't have much faith for. <laughs> so it might be Pret a Manger. <laughs> yeah. They gave us a little lemonade to wait because we have to wait an hour for our table. It's usual practice. Usual practice, apparently, in London, which I think is. Addition. Stupid. Anyway, I've never eaten here. Actually, I'm excited. I wanted to eat here for a while, so we'll have to wait in line. I'll show you the line. So it goes all the way down to there. I got a little glass of rosé to start. I've uh, got a red wine on the way. We've got 45 minutes waiting for our table, but at least we're in a bar. Look who arrived, Miss Yulia. Haven't seen her in a year. <laughs> Reunited at last, a year later, in London. She's a London girl now. She's a city girl. I'm being camera shy. I'm just posing. I know. Do you know that TikTok sound of your wonderful girls and I at the Irish? And she's like, turns out it goes. I didn't. I always thought I was a city girl, but it turns out I'm also a beach girl. <laughs> like you're actually not a beach girl because she went from LA. She's a city girl. She's actually a city girl. Maybe it's my, just my Uber driver. He's on his way. Oh, this looks so freaking nice. Good morning. My throat is so sore. I think it's the air conditioning though because this bed is so small. It's like a double bed and Evan and I usually have, we have like a super king and when you get used to a bed that big it's very hard to sleep in like a little double bed. Um, and Evan kept snoring his life away last night so I didn't really sleep very well. Um, so I think my throat is just sore from probably traveling and the air conditioning in here because I was sweating in the small bed is what I was trying to get. <sighs> Ooh. But we have to get up and start a new day in London. I'm gonna meet my friend Ross for coffee at 11. I have to get uh, ready now really quickly and uh, I have to drop a bag over to Evan um, because he left a bag in the studio and also I have to leave my bags in his studio. We, how stupid is this, right? Our flights are at the same time in different airports. So annoying. So I have to go all day to Heathrow. I mean, he has to go to like, Gatwick I think which is like horrific. My flight's at 10 past 8 so I guess that means I should be at the airport for like 6-ish 
but I don't want to get caught in traffic. Although I think I'm gonna, I think the trains are not striking now, which is fine. I, they were at the weekend, so I just need to get from East London to Paddington and then get the Heathrow Express, which I think takes about forty five minutes. Um, I'm so bad at like working out time backwards. You know what I mean? I'll see if I can show you guys that studio because that would be kind of cool. I, I think it's like huge. There's, Evans like there's a restaurant in it and everything, which is like wild. Um, and then I'm gonna be Ross, and then I'm gonna do some shopping. Um, I want to go around to the vintage shops in Shoreditch. Uh, I'm going to see if Yulia is around. I think she has an apartment viewing at lunchtime though, but maybe she can meet me afterwards or something like that. As we know from my Paris vlog, I love the solo traveling. So, shower time. Mm -hmm. to wear today and I didn't bring a bra so I have to wear the same top as I did yesterday whatever but annoying um and then also what I fucking did was I got ready there the whole time and didn't charge my phone so I have to sit here now for a few minutes just to get a bit of juice on my phone then I'm gonna go walk and oh my god Evan oh so annoying do you know what he did he was leaving this morning and he was like, oh, I left my suitcase in the studio. Can you put my clothes in your bag and bring them over? And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. The fucking, st my bag, which thank fuck I bought yesterday in Penny. Cause I was like, okay, I, don't, I only have like a handbag with me. Remember, you should, I showed you. Um, it's jammed full of his clothes. And now I have to go fucking carry this like 15 minutes down the road. He must be having a laugh. So we're in Holborn Studios. Evan's giving me a tour. Cause there's so many like iconic shoots that went on here. It's so fucking huge. Oh, look at the fishes. Fish? Fishy. Oh my God, look at him. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, getting distracted by the least impressive thing here. Whoa. This Kate. Oh, boy George. Look at that boy George picture. There's our G. Do you coffee around? Do you know? So cool, this is outside. We're on like a good canal. Shop. Barge. And there's a little coffee shop and a bar. I'm drinking all here. Um, very cool. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have a little coffee with Evan and then I'm gonna run back down to Shoreditch and meet Ross and I think Yudi is gonna come too and we're gonna do some shopping. Look who it is. Paul Mescal. <laughs> I even have the chain. <laughs> you do. Yours is gold though, which is arguably better. I got a little cold brew. Mm. I got some banana bread with seasonal jam and clotted cream. That's really cute. It has found a carry dress. Oh my god, it looks so good on camera. <laughs> Where's Aiden? <laughs> and just like that, I'm in Heathrow, baby. Oh my god, guys. Is there a better feeling than getting home? Once back and nothing, damn. Um, no better feeling than getting home from a flight. Fucking hell, I am exhausted. I feel like I've come home from Thailand. The heat today in London, like it wasn't even that hot. Like, I mean, it was hot, definitely. Me and Yuli were definitely a bit dead. We were walking around a lot. Sorry if you're squeamish, I'm gonna take my contact lens today. I really need to get laser eye surgery. I'll do it. I, I'll, I won't do this on my camera. We were both fucked. We, like, I, I couldn't even vlog a lot of the day because I was so tired. I'm not even joking. 
like the thoughts of taking my camera out was absolutely I just, it was not I wasn't going to be possible um but don't worry I'm going to vlog more this week but I had such a fun time um I'm going to do my nighttime skincare routine which by the way I have a reel of if you are looking for it it's on my Instagram and I'm gonna crawl into bed. Evan will be home in about half an hour, I think. We were on different flights home. Different airports and everything. Oh my God, my eyes. I have something up in my eyes these days and I really need to get laser eye surgery because one of my eyes, and it's a different one every time, keeps getting like so bloodshot. Like, look at this. Like, what the actual fuck? And then the other week it was this one all here and I, I put in new contacts so it's not my contacts oh, okay anyway skincare time and getting into bed hi guys it is now Saturday so came back from London um, felt a little bit sick but not COVID well I hope it isn't anyway I don't think so because I haven't been sick sick you know what I mean it's Saturday night as I said Evan's out had a great time in London by the way fucking fantastic time loved it I uh, loved seeing Yulia and Ross. I know I barely, I, I barely vlogged that day. As I said, it was just so hot. I couldn't, the thoughts of even taking my camera out, like I just couldn't do it. Today, do you know what? Usually when Evan goes out, I will usually get like a takeaway um, just to like chill and you know, indulge girls. But tonight, for some reason, I was just like, I want home cooked food. Like there isn't really, the one thing about Malahide where I live is there's not the best takeaway options. Like I just don't, like it's like, you can pretty much get a curry or a pizza. And don't get me wrong. Well, I'm not a big pizza person, controversially, but I love curry, but I have so much of it that I'm just like, I wasn't in the mood. Uh, I could have got sushi, but eh, also wasn't really in the mood. I was just, I wanted home cooking. I wanted like a dinner. Do you know, do you know that kind of way? Like I wanted like dinner. So I was like, I'm just gonna get a super value bitch. And all of this cost me 30 euro. Which technically is a lot for like one person's dinner, but like there will be enough here for Evan. And um, I would like, another thing about uh, takeaways, like they are extortionally expensive, aren't they? Like if I ordered my own Thai, for example, I would probably get like a main course and um, I'd probably get like a spring roll or something to nibble on. And that would be the go to 30 euro by the time it gets delivered to me. So it's all the same. So what did I get? I randomly picked this up. Now, this is like my lazy home cooked meal because I didn't really want to be buying a load of ingredients and then have to like fully like be slaving away in the kitchen. I just kind of want to fuck something in the oven. You know that kind of feeling. So I got um, spicy Irish beef meatballs. There's a lot of cheese on them, but I was kind of in a cheesy mood. So I'm actually excited to eat these. And that's just like fuck them in the oven. How long do I have to cook them for? 25 minutes, perfect. I got some asparagus because I wanted some greens um, and asparagus is so good with like butter and pepper on them, yum. Um, and then I wasn't, oh yeah, then I got uh, I got a Caesar salad, again, lazy. Like they didn't have, like I would usually just get cost lettuce heads, right, but they didn't have any. So I got this mix, I don't like the croutons. Um, and I bought my own Caesar, Caesar dressing. Now I do have a vlog somewhere it would be from when I was doing the keto diet. Um, so January, February around then, where I make my own Caesar salad dressing and it's really easy, but again, I just wasn't bothered. So I just bought one, a little one, it was like a euro, so whatever. Um, then I got these last minute, cause I, first I was gonna do no carbs for no reason, but I was just like, oh, I just don't want potatoes and I didn't really want like, I don't really like meatballs with spaghetti. Um, I'm not really into spaghetti unless it's like carbonara. But I got these, so it's like, these were in like the gourmet section or whatever, and it's um, gourmet cheese tortellini. And I think it's blue cheese or like three cheese. I don't really know. I just picked it up. I was like, fuck it. Oh, and then I got these. These are an Irish company. Um, they are called Naked. They're these cookies. Um, so they are, it's cookie dough. So for my dessert. So I was like, oh, I kind of want a dessert to be honest. Um, but I can just, I was gonna buy a bag of cookies basically and then I remembered these exist and they sell them at Super Valley now, so delighted. And then as a little treat as well, I got myself these. These were on special offer girls, uh, San Pellegrino. They're usually like a fiver and I'd never be buying a load of cans of drinks for fiver, but they're down to three euro. Um, and I got the lemon and fucked myself. Like it's really low key and also my favorite crisps I got as a little treat. 
many many treats tonight but i got these the o'donnell's they are the best i'm going to eat these while i cook yeah we're just going to spend a little cute night together um i don't know really know what i'm going to watch i might do my tan i don't know see i've got electric picnic next weekend and i obviously need to be looking good as for that but like I don't know what day to do my tan because I'm very pale at the moment. Maybe I'll just leave it and wait for my tan. I think I'll do tan Tuesday. I'll be tan for Wednesday and then I'll do a top up on the Friday. Something like that. Oh, let me know if you ever want like a tanning routine. I never know whether to do it on like hair or whether to do it on reels. But like something about, I don't know why I cringe myself out. I did a, a Dyson Airwrap tutorial that I'm going to post next week and that wasn't cringe but this I have a mental block about tanning routines because I'm like everyone's tanning routine is the same you just put your tan on some people moisturize I don't <laughs> anyway it's still early I'm not going to cook yet but we'll spend the night together chill out have a little chat um and then we'll end the video okay bye, -bye. so recently I've been so obsessed with video essays it was never a genre i really got into i've watched a few here or there right like obviously they pop up they always pop up on my like i think you call it my for you page my like home page on youtube like recommends and sometimes i get through them but i just think it's a very hard thing to do and it's like you have to be a very compelling person obviously to make an academic argument entertaining so i really respect anyone who does video essays and i've always kind of watched them on more like lighter topics but recently i've been so obsessed with contrapoints i know late to the game not my first time being aware or uh seeing her videos uh i've you know i became aware of contrapoints a good while ago she used to do like debates i feel with more like people on the right and stuff like that and i thought that was cool because she a lot of the time like i mean she's just so smart so like She's like the best person to debate those kind of people. Anyway, um, I, I know she started doing these really long videos and I've watched a few, I don't know which one I watched, but I watched one, sorry, I'm like flicking through my, my TV. Um, and I never really, I just didn't really get into them. I watched some of some of them basically and I was just like, eh. But recently I was just like, you know what? I love that these are so long. Like if you don't know, I don't know, maybe you don't know who ContraPoints is. Her name's Natalie, she's a trans woman. She does these insane videos. Like I am blown away by these YouTube videos. They're so incredible, so incredibly done. Like she builds these amazing sets. She like has like a full look for every scene. Um, she is so eloquent, so intelligent. Like, I mean, you learn a lot from her videos even if you like disagree with her um like you would still like it's still such a beautifully eloquent put together argument that like you can't help but respect it and to be honest there hasn't really been one that i've watched that i've been like i disagree um i think if you were to start on one of them with and you've never watched before I think a starting point one would be, uh, it's called like cancelled, which I know sounds annoying, like it's about cancel culture. And it is to an extent, but it's just a really interesting, I don't know, the way she dissects it is so well done. And like just even like that whole video is so good because she's like drinking throughout it. And like, I don't know, she's just so charming. And so like, you just want to be your best friend. Um, I fully have a parasocial relationship with her, if you can't tell. But I'm watching one right now. Um, on envy and it's so good like she just does like so much shit in this video like she's like talking about like how envy overlaps with politics and then she like will do she cuts it all up into different scenes right so like it's so easy to consume and i don't watch them all in one sitting sometimes like this is two hours long like so it's so it's like a movie she made um and there's like different scenes and she has different costumes every time like right now she's like dissecting uh snow white as a uh, metaphor for envy like intergenerational envy oh it's just so good it's just so good i'll link um this video why not in my bio not that she needs i mean she gets like this has five million views like she's huge so but like i feel like not a lot of people are aware youtube's a hard one to find new people on right um the odd time i will get uh a recommendation and i'll watch it like i've found a lot of really good youtubers that way 
so I would encourage you, like if you're on YouTube and something comes up and you're recommended, do watch it the odd time if it looks kind of interesting because like I find the algorithm to be pretty good. Um, but if you're unaware and you want more, it's not, I mean, it, her content is essentially political, but it's not, you don't feel like you're watching a political video. You feel like you're watching a piece of entertainment, which like if that is not nailing the video essay, um, what's the word? Genre. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with her. I wish she would make one more, but I didn't really like her most recent one, The Hunger. It was funny, but I couldn't really watch all of it. I might watch more. I think what I'm gonna do later after I eat my dinner is maybe have a bath and watch ContraPoints. I did this last week as well. You'd think I'd watch a movie or something, but I just lay there watching ContraPoints and honestly had the best time of my life. Sorry, I, I'm, I haven't really addressed it. I haven't done a YouTube video in so long. And I feel, the reason I didn't was because, um, well, I don't really have a reason to be honest. I came back after Paris, I made my Paris vlog, loved that vlog by the way. Um, I, that was one of my favorite vlogs I did, probably just because I had such a nice time and I thought it was like a good travel vlog. Um, and then I just, you know, I was so busy. All of August literally flew by me. I had no time for vlogging. And even if I, there was just nothing to vlog genuinely, I've just been doing so much podcast work lately, which I'm really, like, I think is really paying off and I'm really into. Um, but yeah, I think like with vlogging, it's um, it's definitely a medium that you have to be passionate about while you're doing it. Like, I think it comes across if someone isn't into vlogging when they're making vlogs. So my point being, if your favorite vlogger doesn't post for a while, just know that that's probably what's going on, I would think. Like, and then it might come in bursts. Like sometimes all I wanna do is vlog. I wanna vlog every single week. I wanna talk into a camera. I wanna just put it together. I love choosing the music. I love pressing, but like I do love the whole process of it. But just this month I was like, no, I'm not really into it. And I'm doing it a year now. Like I think last week was like my year long birthday of the vlog. Um, and I'm definitely still always gonna vlog. Like I actually love having a YouTube channel, something that I wanted to do for so long and my imposter syndrome wouldn't let me. Lame. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna watch some more ContraPoints, make my dinner. Does this look good or shit? I can't tell. I mean, it's gonna be delish. <clears throat> While we're talking about ContraPoints and like video essays, I actually have to limit how much I watch them because I watched one of her videos, I think. Uh, I can't remember when it was last week or something and like I kind of was watching it as I was falling asleep and I like dreamt in video essay. It was exhausting. <laughs> Adam's a great guy and all, but I want Lilith. And in the quiet of that standstill, you sometimes feel outside yourself. And with that comes a new perspective. So last December, when I was lying around drinking White Claw all day and binge watching Orange is the Bluest L Word, I actually...